the other question which comes to mind is a curiosity, and maybe it's just an exception, is a Scandinavian example. If we do believe that, in general, uh, strong intact families and strong, uh, uh, strong elements of religiosity are important with respect to investment in human capital for children, we have to contend with what we see as results in Scandinavia today, where uh, there's very high proportions of children born outside of traditional marriages, very uh, low levels of traditionally expressed religiosity, and yet at the same time, very high uh, measures of child health, very high measures of uh, success in educational systems. Uh, is, are the Scandinavians just different? Uh, is there some way we can fit this into our way of thinking about the world. It's, it's a curiosity that I think bears a, a little bit further examination for the future.